Well, hey there, everybody. I just want to give a big shout out to all the members that signed up, man. Really, it really touches my soul. Really, at the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all y'all. Man, thank y'all so much. And if you haven't signed up, go right ahead and hit that little join button and just join in the family. So thank you so much once again. Y'all have a wonderful day or night and take care. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, it's time to do a What's New in Transformers. Yeah, love talking about new Transformers. I don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat about them. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab, you know, grab your favorite beverage, sit back and relax, and we'll take a look at these new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. It looks like 115 Utopia, or 115 Utopia, is giving us a add-on part for MMC Stellaris Prom Promenon. This is their um, Optimus Prime. And it looks like it's just a little filler piece, maybe to give it some stability. I guess they're having issues with the legs. I don't know for sure, but this looks like it's going to be you know, more stable for him. I guess he was doing those Fat Joe lean back some or something. I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what was wrong with this. And it uh, looks like we have a little filler piece to maybe, you know, stabilize him. So there you go. 115 Utopia is giving us an add-on part for MMC Stellarus, Stellarus Promenon. Golly, couldn't get that out. But there you go. Fix it up. And it looks like Shockwave's Lab Sparing Bot has been shown. Uh, oh, I did show this a couple uh, weeks ago. Uh, he comes with like a sword, you know, and the shield and everything that he did with the sparring part in the 86 movie. But now they're going to show us more. It looks like they painted him already as, as well. So this is the sparring bot from that uh, little add-on kit. If you want to get it, this is from Shockwave's Lab. And it looks pretty good, I guess. You know, if you want to have that little scene from the movie, it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Shockwave's Lab Sparring Bot from the 86 movie. It's coming right at us. All right. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to one of my favorite things, Legends. Iron Factory IF-EX45M. This is your EI Shishimura. This is the recolor of Leo Convoy. And he's got the purple and kind of a greenish kind of a tint to him. So it's a, you know, just a basic recolor. Really good figure. I like it. And I love the purple and the yellow. It looks really good. Kind of green. I'm sorry. It's it, purple and green. It looks really good. You know, it looks more Decepticon, you know, colors. And it looks really good. I like it. So this is the Iron Factory EX45M Yoria Shishimura. I know I'll probably you know crap that up but sorry about that but there you go we got a recolor of leo convoy coming from iron factory looks real good then up next we have maybe a new company i think i don't know for sure hit me up in the comments if you've ever heard of these people iron romance workshop so they're giving us two little legend class beast wars figures uh one of them was called bloody ashura and he kind of looks like rampage and then you have another one called yasha sea wolf and he kind of looks like depth charge they're about 10 centimeters tall. Um, they look pretty cool, to be honest. I like them, man. I, I'm excited that we're getting these uh, Beast War figures. And I don't know if they're sure, you know, they're aiming to be the Beast War figures, but they kind of look like them. So if you want to, you know, use them as a stand-in for some Legends class, that's pretty cool. So it looks like, yeah, new company, Iron Romance Workshop. Like I said, I've never heard of them. Um, they will be at Wonderfest. I'll show you some other pictures. They were on display. So this looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is uh, Iron Romance Workshop, and they're giving us Beast Wars Legends. And that's all we have for Legends news. And moving on to MP Scale third party news. Like I said, there was a Wonderfest 2021 this weekend, and we got a lot of stuff to go over. So, like I said, Iron Romance Workshop, I guess they're a new company, but they showed us here's some more prototypes, and they're like their early stages of prototype picks. And I really like these, they look really good. The Rampage one kind of, you know, got the Goro thing going on with the four arms. He's got those clubs that looks really good. And Depth Charge, man, it looks really, really nice too, as well. They look like they're really well articulated. I can't wait to see them painted up, man. It's going to be nice. So, yeah, this is some new stuff from Iron Romance Workshop. So, also at Wonderfish in Shanghai, there was a Chinese Transformer in Mecca. Now, I think I've shown these before. I know I've seen the tank and the helicopter and the jet before. They got some pretty cool stuff. These things are look really huge. You also have a satellite dragon kind of thing going on. That looks pretty neato if you have somewhere to display it. But these look pretty big. Uh, so I do like the tank. The, the helicopter looks really nice as well. And you got this big old, looks like a missile launcher kind of thing going on with the tanker. Looks really nice. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And I don't, I, like I said, I don't know who's making it. I think it's just called Ch uh, Chinese Mecha. 
But this is a Ch you know Chinese transformer mecha on display at Wonderfest in Shanghai, and it looks pretty neat. Can't wait to see some paint on these fellas, uh, especially that tank and the uh, helicopter. That'd be pretty sweet. But man, that dragon thing that looks pretty neat, oh man. All right, what do y'all think about this stuff? Is anybody in on this? I don't. I've never seen any pre-orders or anything like that, but. We will see. So there you go. Chinese Mecca on display at Wonderfest. And also at Wonderfest was Arch Core, which I've already talked about these. These are like the Viking kind of things. And I think they may have mech suits. These little, you know, human figures that have mech suits and stuff. But man, I love that truck mode. It looks like the Dark of the Moon uh, Megatron. It looks really good. And they have a wolf that transforms into a motorcycle. That looks freaking awesome. I think you get two of them. And I remember uh, last time I showed, they do combine into this huge huge uh you know uh combiner can't wait i think these are pre-order on uh, chosen prime agabus i think some other people have them as well but man these look pretty cool like i said it's got that kind of a viking uh you know mech tech kind of thing going on looks good so this is archcore display at wonderfest and wow looks freaking awesome and i also came across this metal slug super vehicle sb-001 is this from like a video game or something i don't know for sure uh, the head sculpt kind of looks like Optimus Prime, but the vehicle mode looks like a you know a stubby little tank. So this might be from a video game or something. I don't know. Like I said, hit me up in the comments. Tell me what this is from. This is Metal Slug Super Vehicle SV-001, and looks pretty cool. Got those 80s working woman's uh, shoulder pads going on. Hmm. Then also on display was maybe warship i have no idea who this is as well i am so sorry it just doesn't give me a lot of information but can anybody say broadside maybe wow it looks pretty cool now they did show some really early early prototypes and they got some renders and stuff but yeah it looks like we got some warships that will transform into robots and yeah i mean if we're not eventually going to get i hope we get a broadside from somebody this might could be a stand-in for broadside i know it's not a triple changer but you know you could use them as robot or ship mode so there you go so i, I like I, said, I don't know who this is but they're called maybe warship but there you go they're boats that transform transforms into robots can't get better than that come on now boats so it looks like yellow park and it looks like uh, azura c studios and three zero and prime one studios have was also at this shanghai um, wonder festival and yeah it looks man they got some really nice stuff coming so we got uh yellow park uh bumblebee movie bumblebee <laughs> bumblebee movie bumblebee jiva cybertronium mode this is a first reveal of a high quality action figure which features the uh iies which is internal interconnect endoskeleton endoskeleton systems so we got ones of uh, bumblebee coming then we got uh optimus prime as well we got a full colored sample showing off his opening a chest in matrix this looks you know oh, looks spectacular as well then you got this gene model place rc action figure which i think this is coming with the cape and stuff with um optimus prime they showed and this looks kind of weird kind of looks like a you know lord of the rings kind of thing going on but you know it looks all right you know it's officially licensed action figure with die cast parts while the main robot looks like a slightly slightly stylized version of g1 rc it comes with several accessories armor pieces to give her more of an impressive chinese fantasy armor look they also have a show and concept art of optimus prime and silhouettes of megatron and bumblebee so this is a nuke thing coming it looks pretty cool like i said it's like you know a chinese fantasy armor look and they come with capes and stuff so hey can't go wrong with that then we got the uh, zura c studio shockwave statue it's a great prototype shown very impressive man so much sculpt work and detail in these things wow and we got a wind blade statue as well color samples shown at the exhibit we also have a six shot statue small update with the colored alt mode mini vehicle samples so you're going to get all of the mini vehicles they don't transform uh but that's pretty you know pretty neat great puddle top of the uh, six shot is on display it was on display as well we got a nemesis prime statue color sample of the black redeco of the studio series optimus prime statue so that looks really good as well wow these things look expensive then we got three zero with the revenge of the fallen optimus prime jet fire and jet power optimus prime combined this is final product samples on display individually in combined mode there have been some modifications to make jet power optimus prime more movie accurate 
wow this thing looks impressive too that is a lot of stuff just hanging out just hanging out everywhere but it looks good three zero this is their mascots they had the nong toy optimus prime and bumblebee uh, that was pretty cool this was a uh, you know a limited run of 100 units um, at the festival so if you got a chance to get one pretty cool then we have prime one studios revenge of the fallen blackout statue final product sample on display Prime One Studio of Revenge of the Fallen Scorponok statue, the final uh, product sample on, on display as well, and Studio Dark of the um, I'm sorry, Studio Dark of the Moon Jetwing Optimus Prime statue color sample as well. So yeah, lots and lots of statues. These look that's a whole lot of money. I'm just gonna put it out there. That's a whole lot of money, but they look really good and fantastic. The paint, the sculpt and detail, man, looks really good. So this was all mainly what was at the Shanghai Wonder Festival. Man, I wish I could have gone to one of these things. That'd be pretty cool. There you go. All right, so moving on to other third-party news. We got Fans Hobby MB-06D Orange Power Baser, and this looks pretty good. This is a guard armor as well. First assembled color test shots. Vehicle mode, spray paint, and not finishing, not applied yet. So it's not completely done, but man, look at that orange. Look like a sun kiss. Mm -mm -mm. You got the orange and the black and the red. Looks really good. I have one of them. I had the original one with Optimus Prime, but I think they've done like six of them so far. So if you want a fire convoy, here you go. This is a Fans Hobby MB-06D Orange Power Baser and Orange God Armor. Nice. It's going to be huge. So moving on to Deformation Space is making a star screen. This came out of nowhere. I had no clue who these people are. Probably another, they were part of another third party company. They probably branched off, but we're getting another star scream yay i love some star scream and this doesn't look bad at all now we haven't seen any altmo pics yet but the bot mode looks really nice now they do some comparisons with mp52 which is coming out soon and they also do some make toys comparisons i think they do new age and some other ones but i'm not going to show those that's different scale and everything but this does not look bad at all the back looks you know decent you know it does got the little flaps on the top just hanging up there eh. but he looks a little skinny now some of the photos from MP mp52 look you know like upwards and he looks kind of chubby i just want to say that some of the pics he looks like he just ate a big old turkey and he just was just stuffed but i like both of them i think they both look great i think the color on um, uh either one of them the defor uh, deformation looks really good and the mp52 i'm definitely in for mp52 i may get this well you know if i don't know how much these are going to be probably going to be a lot more cheaper you're probably looking around the 150 to 200 range give or take but doesn't look bad at all so deformation space is making a star screen and i'm excited you know more star screens the more the merrier you know what i mean good stuff and also from Deformation, they showed us an MP Blaster with Ram Horn. So just early CAD drawings and, you know, CAD drawings, you can make them as the best they could look and everything. But, you know, it doesn't look bad. Uh, I like the Ram Horn. He looks really good. Now, they do show some comparison with the KFC because that's the only one we have right now as far as MP scaled. And, I mean, you know, that's older. You know, KFC has been, you know, that's at least five years old, I think. So... You know, this is probably going to be better than the KFC one. The Ram Horn definitely looks a lot better than what the KFC one does. But, you know, we'll see. I, I, like I said, I've never heard of this uh, company. I don't know, you know, if they put anything out before, so really can't judge them. But so far, so good. They're doing two, you know, great characters, Star Scream and Blaster. So, you know, if you've been waiting out for another Blaster from either MP or from third party, well, here you go. Deformation has you covered with MP Blaster and Ram Horn. Then it looks like we may be getting a Optimus Prime Gundam crossover. I don't know for sure. Don't know who the company's making this. Just kind of some early CAD drawings and it looks like some pictures, you know, in a, like a magazine or something. But you know, it looks all right. I guess I don't know. I'm not much of. I tried the Gundam thing for a little bit, but I did. I just didn't really catch on with me. Uh, but this, you know, the the waist for him just looks weird. I don't know. But it is a CAD drawing, so you know, maybe it'll be a little better later on. But I, you know, Optimus Prime as a Gundam. It may happen. I don't know. So it's like Omega Ray was on. It was on his Weibo. This is one that showed it. So if you want to look him up, you know, maybe you want to find some more pictures of this guy. So it looks like there might be a crossover with Optimus Prime and Gundam. Are y'all excited for this? 
hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think. All right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. And we also talked about the Shanghai stuff, which looks pretty cool. So we got to move on to official news. It looks like we have a plot for Transformers 7 and what year it might take in. So it looks like 1992 is going to be the year that this is going to be taking place in. So according to a sheet, the extras for the movie must be prepared to change their appearance, hair, facial hair, and clothing based on the styles from the 1992 uh, 1992, thus indicating the possibility the story of Transformer 7 takes place five years after the events of Bumblebee. So that's pretty cool. So during the principal uh, photography of Transformers Bumblebee movie, the extras were called to change their appearance uh, based on the styles from 1987. So it looks like we're going to move in five years and uh, Transformer 7, which I guess I, I thought we were supposed to get Bumblebee 2, but now Transformer 7 is going to move on. So I guess this is going to be Bumblebee 2. I have no idea. There's supposed to be like three movies coming out for Transformers. Who knows? But there's going to be a plot and it's going to be taking place in 1992. All right, man. I'm still in high school. Jeebus. All right. We got in-head images. That's what we all love. Grinder and Bravage. We got some new picks. So it looks like it's a redeco and slot remote of the Studio Series Leader Class Blackout. Now featuring some extra rusty battle damage and tempo graphs. Wow. Blackout has some now articulated hands with double hinge with fingers and wrist swivel and a new Ravage figurine. I think they meant uh, Grinder, not a Blackout. But anyways, the extra rusty helps to notice some sculpting and details that are not noticeable in Blackout. Of course, there's a side-by-side -side comparison pick of the two figures. So anybody getting this guy? I know I am. He looks pretty neat. So I love, love some extra rusty, mm, some sculpt work. Gotta be good. So there you go. Leader class Grinder and Ravage in-hand images. Then up next, we have in-hand images of Waspinator, Deluxe Class Kingdom. All right. Waspinator is getting a completely new mold in Kingdom, showing off more realist, realistic Wasp mode and with the modern robot mode. Waspinator takes some modifications compared to the cartoon designs, but is really an unlucky Predacon warrior as always. He, gets, he just blows up all the time. Of course, there's a comparison with previous generation to Car Legends Deluxe Waspinator. That was the Thrilling 30. And comparison shots next to other Kingdom figures and Predacons. So what do y'all think? Which one looks better? I've seen a lot of uh, stuff on Facebook that they're leaning more towards the Thrilling 30 one. So we'll see. I think they will both look fine. And I'm definitely getting this guy. Check him out. So there you go. New in him images of Deluxe Deluxe Waspinator from Kingdom. Golly, I just can't get stuff out tonight. And guess what, folks? We got another sneak peek at a statue. This is Premium Collectible Studio G1 Grimlock. The only thing we get is just his face going rawr. So this image let us know that a favorite Dinobot leader is in dinosaur mode with a menacing opening mouth. So that's all you get to see. So maybe we'll see some uh, another pics later on down the line. So it looks pretty good. Once again, looks expensive. There you go, Grimlock. And speaking of Netflix and Kingdom, July 29th is when we're going to get to see Kingdom. All right, is everybody excited? I am. I can't wait to finish it off. The other two were fine, you know, but I'm hoping this one will kind of redeem it. And I really uh, was on Rodimus Primal's uh, channel last night when he was talking about this. Six episodes is really not enough. You know, I don't think we're going to get really a big backstory from the, you know, the Predacons and the Maximals. And that really sucks because I would love to see some, uh, some updated, you know, stuff on them. But we'll see. But, you know, get your uh, TV, TiVo ready. Get everything you want to record with. And July 29th, Netflix, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom is coming our way. And more in-hand images from Kingdom Earth Mode Sideswipe. Yeah. So Kingdom finally brings us Earth Mode Sideswipe and basically a retool of the Siege Sideswipe mode with several new parts and a clean deco with no battle damage. We got comparison shots next to the original Siege mode for all the differences. Uh, Earth Sideswipe will be packed with Maximal Skywarp and the Amazon exclusive Battle Cross Time Collective Deluxe WFC K42 2 pack. So there you go. They've already done a review on this fella and he's not even out. So that's awesome. So there you go. That is new stuff from Kingdom Earth Mode Sideswipe in head images. Oh, I forgot. I want to show this awesome custom Iron Fist. This is from Nitrous14 on Twitter. If you want to go follow him, it's Nitrous, N I T R U S 14. And this looks awesome. So they took the Siege uh, Hound and they made a custom Iron Fist. And it looks really good. New head sculpt. Definitely uh, love the paint job and then the light blue and yellow. Looks really nice with the gray. So awesome job. Whoever this guy is, Nitrous14, you did a great job. Like I said, he's on Twitter. Go follow him. This looks really nice. So this is Custom Iron Fist. 
Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for news this week. And a lot of good stuff, man. Some great stuff from Shanghai Wonderfest. Man, we got some just awesome, awesome stuff coming out. As always, Transformers, man. It's great to be a collector. I love it. Legends. Mm, we got new Shockwave stuff coming. I know we didn't talk about it, but I've already shown them so many times. I just didn't want to, you know, show it again. But, man, we got a bunch of Legends stuff. So hope you like this. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. You excited? Anybody get any of these statues? My gosh, I would love to get some of these, but I know they're way out of my price range. Always be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.